coming. <laughs> hey, Walker Furniture here in town continues to support our local fire and rescue with their project Rested and Ready. They've started, well, last year. They've been replacing old mattresses throughout the valley all in the firehouses. Absolutely. It's amazing. And here with the details is Linda Alterwitz Mizrahi. She's the co-owner of Walker Furniture, along with Deputy Fire Chief for Clark County, Jeff Buchanan. It's great having both of you. Welcome in. Thanks Hi. for having us. Hi. You're great looking well you. rested, Jeff. Yes, thank there you. Here we go. Thanks. So give us an update. Where are we at while well, with uh, Project Rested and Ready? How's it going? We've uh, finished seven firehouses, wow. replaced mattresses. Mm. Tomorrow is our eighth. So it's pretty much every month. It's going to take two and a half years. Wow. Wow. No kidding. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is such a great. a great thing. Rest is critical to those who work in the firehouse. Uh, I was amazed, I, I visited a few over the past year, uh, amazed to hear about the schedules. And, and sleep is not always part of the schedule. These aren't nine quite to frankly. fives, yeah. No, they're, they're not nine to fives. Every firefighter works at least 2,912 hours a year. For the normal individual, they work 2,080 hours. So they're having the ability to sleep is critical. The, the common misnomer is that there is a lot of sleep to be had and firefighters actually don't get a lot of sleep. Yeah. Uh, they get interrupted by calls, that's part of their job, and they do their duties well and they're ready to respond, but when they can get sleep, it sure is nice to have a great mattress, and they appreciate it. Absolutely. Sure. So you've had this now going into the eighth uh, uh, firehouse. This is uh, remarkable. I mean, th these new mattresses must be beloved. Are there, are there <laughs> fights over the mattresses, or are there enough oh, for everyone yeah. around? This is well, that's some stuff that we like to keep behind <laughs> the scenes. But There's certainly. the one ratty mattress. If you lose the like a game at the yeah. firehouse, yeah. you sleep on that one. Yeah. <laughs> and the fire department seniority does play a special role. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at some pictures here. Uh, it, it is really great. So Walker Furniture pulls up with these giant trucks. Linda, I, I've come down and, and got to get to watch you. Uh, I, I've been able to watch you give these new mattresses. Oh, wow, look at that shot. There I mean, we that, was, that was actually just a privilege right there. Mm -hmm. and, and take away these old mattresses. What have you seen as you've stepped inside these firehouses? Well, one thing I learned when I was at Firehouse 19 is that there's a position called a fire investigator. Mm. And they go to almost every fire oh, wow. and they investigate the origins of the fire. Uh -huh. Really interesting talking to Earl Hawks. He's one of the six fire investigators in Clark County Fire District. Oh, and I, I was really incredible talking to him and learning about what he does. No oh, question. Wow. And, yeah, uh, and, and, and honestly, they're some of the hardest working people. And you guys, are, it's a prime example. You know, the least you can get is a night, good night's sleep because if you do get that call where you do have to go into a burning building that all of us are kind of running away from, I mean, to be able to be sharp and be ready and to make sure that everything is on point is incredibly important for your, for your livelihood, isn't it? That's so important. Imagine every night going, uh, going to sleep with the thought that at any given minute you have to wake up and run your fastest and perform your best. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the life of a firefighter is. They go to sleep when they do get that opportunity. There really is no true rest because they're constantly in ready state, mm -hmm. ready to jump into action. And so when you have a mattress, like the ones that are provided by Walker Furniture that are so appreciated, it helps them get those moments of sleep when they can. Awesome. Well, and it just benefits the whole community, doesn't it? Because you are our first responders. And so uh, we're taking care of you and helping you do your job better. And it, it really helps the whole city. Uh, there's there's really no does. doubt. It is a community approach. Uh, a, a healthy, happy firefighter mm -hmm. is one that performs the best and provides the best service. No question. How did this whole thing come about with Walker that you decided to, to do mm -hmm. this? Well, we just wanted to show uh, our thanks to yeah. the firefighters mm -hmm. and what better way having a furniture store than to provide, provide mattresses. No doubt. So you have a event tomorrow. Where is it? Uh, Firehouse 33. That's mm -hmm. on. Just off the strip on off Desert Inn. Yes. Oh, okay. That's right. Very that's right. Yeah. Those man, right. those they proved to be very important. By the way, a little kitchen fire here or there, or I remember the Cosmopolitan mm. fire. Mm -hmm. sure. My goodness, right along the pool. You guys, are right yes, there. I remember that. Yep. Oh, I okay. mean, national news. Yes, that it was. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it was great to see our firefighters on display, mm -hmm. and the Cosmopolitan. They did a remarkable job of turning that event around and getting it back up and, and ready. But our firefighters, there's a fire station literally right, right next door. Right next door. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. they had a. It was great positioning. And strategic location of the firefighters. They were well trained and they were able to put that fire out pretty quickly. It's phenomenal work that you yeah. guys do day in and day out. Thank you so much for your hard work.
work and thank great you. Great to Walker have Furniture. you. Thank you for having us. It's great to have you. Walker Furniture, they're a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend and a proud partner of community initiatives like Project Rested and Ready. You can check them out at their two locations. Two. There's two. I know. There's one in downtown. <laughs> you know about that one. You drive usually five miles per hour past it on the 15. Or you can go to the one in Henderson. That one's uh, in the suburbs. For more information, their number, their website, both right there on your screen.